What's your name, sir? Christian Torres. I'm a cook at Tomorrow Colors. How long have you worked here? Six years. The conditions are being really, really, really bad. People is overworking. That's why a lot of people have got injured. After they got injured, they, they just fired them. But also, we, we didn't have and work during summer. We had to find another job or something else to pay our beers or to live. And and also about the health insurance is too expensive for those who have a family. That's why people uh, decided to stand up and, and fight for the union because with the union we're going to have a voice. And also to protest the um, unfair firing of a worker here from the dining hall, Francisco Garcia, who had worked here for 16 years um, and was fired unjustly. Why was he fired? Um, I mean, he was fired because he uh, was like on medical leave, um, but also really involved with union organizing. Um, my name is Karen Sisson. I'm vice president and treasurer of Pomona College. Because of privacy concerns for the employee, we cannot divulge the specific circumstances of this employee's termination. We can confirm that it in no way had anything to do um, with that employee's um, activities for or against unionization. What do we want? Justice! Uh, the campus has always been supportive of our workers' right to choose whether they want a union or not. No, we have no unionized employees. Really, no unionized professors, no janitors, no, nothing. none at all. So this no. is this is the first union that's that's been able to make uh, any headway in organizing on campus here. Um, that's correct. Uh, we have uh, taken the position that they should be able to exercise their choice through a secret ballot, so that they will not be subject to intimidation by any of the sides involved in the dispute. The reason why the school said that they support NLRB elections is because it's anonymous, um, but the workers would be handing their ballots um, to their managers, to their superiors. So, to the managers? Yeah, so it's not really like an anonymous process when you have to like hand your ballot, whether you support a union or not, to the person who is in charge of you, to your boss. Well, at the beginning, we decided to not to go to the NLRB, to go by car check. Like a car check um, election which uses a third party, um, so it actually is basically anonymous because uh, the school doesn't necessarily have to see the names, can just like hear the result through this third party. But as the negotiation went up, so we decided to go by the NLRB, but with the college to be neutral. In our last negotiating session, they did concede to a secret ballot election. Um, unfortunately, um, in return for secret ballot election, which they view as a major concession, uh, they have asked that the college uh, agree to full neutrality, which is equivalent to a gag order on our ability to speak uh, about unionization as an educational institution that values free speech. We have not been able to agree to that. With the annual process, allows the employer to talk with the workers, talk to intimidate them, to hire uh, union busters, all those things, to, and that, uh, that's why the, the Pomona College runs the uh, NLRB. The NLRB does exist. There is a method. They could walk down there today, file a petition, and we could have a vote. They, they could have done that back in March 2010 when they marched on David's office. In one of the negotiation meetings, uh, they agreed to, to tell the managers to keep neutral, to not say anything. The general manager came to me, took me to his office and started uh, talking to me about, about the union. I started talking about that the union won't uh, give me more, more, a better raise or the union won't fight for me if, if I got fired or things like that. When that happened to me, I came to the president. He said that he will, he will investigate, investigate that. So what happened? That was that I called the meeting to the manager, and the issue of the meeting was my schedule. So then they believe in him. And so the manager denied having yeah, this exactly. conversation with you about, against, against the union. Exactly. That's why we want the college to be neutral. Oh, I see. see. I mean, we, you, we can't trust in that anymore. We're a very democratic institution in every sense of the word. <laughs> So we're very, you know, consensus driven and everybody gets a voice. No peace, no respect, no peace, no justice, no peace, no respect. Porque a mí me corrieron injustamente y yo levanté una queja para el Estado. And um, he feels he got fired unfairly. I'm you not know, gonna let these things happen again to the workers. Mm -hmm. You said you said in the in the negotiation that the, the workers have a voice. This is our voice.
the college has always had the position to use the existing legal processes of an NLRB election to move forward with an election. And we will respect the results of that election. And if our workers choose to unionize, we will respect that decision and we will operate with the union. She knows already what we want. So, I mean, it's not much to talk. We're just waiting for them to be ready to be neutral and call us to be, to be to get back to the negotiation table. De colores, de colores se visten los campos en la primavera. De colores, de colores son los pajarillos que vienen de afuera.